Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you found me through Instagram or TikTok, you might have seen this video where I talked about me um, getting straightening treatments and how I grew it out and then how I brought back my waves. Well, I got a lot of questions about it, so today we're gonna talk about it. Before we start, I just wanna remind you guys that I am not a hair professional. I am speaking from my own experiences, so all of these are my thoughts and opinions and experience with it, okay? Let's get started. Okay, first of all, what the heck is it? What is a chemical straightening treatment? I think that's very straightforward. It is a chemical that straightens your hair and it rebonds the hair and it changes your hair pattern from whatever you have to straight. A lot of people are familiar with perms um, where you know the opposite happens where people get their hair curled. So this is the opposite of that and it straightens the hair. In different cultures, it is called something different. Like I've heard keratin treatments, I've heard relaxers, I've heard magic straight perms. And where I got it in Vietnam, it's called Gail Taup. I believe that's the correct term. Yes. But yeah, I think all of these cultures, it is the same concept where they're just straightening the hair. All of them use a different type of chemical. So um, it can be a little bit different on each person depending on your hair type, who did it, what chemicals they use. The process could be a little bit different and the results are a little bit different. But the whole concept is the same. It is just straightening of the hair. So the pros of this chemical straightening treatment. For the pros, I think that the number one is that after you get it done, it is very, very low maintenance. Um, I don't know how other people take care of their hair after they've gotten it done, but for me, I literally don't do anything special. Shower and go. Any shampoo, any conditioner worked fine for me and my hair would always just stay straight. I never had to style it. I never had to do anything special. I just shower and go, wake up and go, and it would always literally be just straight and perfect. It helped me style my hair without me actually having to style my hair. So I think that is like the biggest pro of having a chemical straightening treatment is that once you get it, you just, you just kind of chill in <laughs> until it grows out. And um, some people wonder how long it lasts. So um, depending on what you actually got, I would ask, you know, your hairstylist, about what the treatment is called in their salon and what chemicals they're using or whatever. But where I got it in Vietnam, um, when they straightened it for me, it literally just stayed straight, like until my roots grew out. So even when my roots grew out, this part was still straight down here. So it basically lasts until you cut it off. Now the cons. Number one is probably that it is expensive depending on where you get it i know that in the states it could be very costly depending on the length of your hair the time it takes and you know the salon that you go to where i got it done in vietnam it is cheaper than the states i think mine would probably be about like 100 maybe 150 because my hair is really long and thick so i had about three people working on my hair and so that's how much it costs. I got it done in Vietnam because my family lives there and I was on vacation, so it's super convenient for me. But if you were to like get this treatment done in Vietnam and go to Vietnam specifically for the treatment, it would probably be very costly because you gotta think of like, you know, your hotel cost, your airplane ticket cost, and things like that. If you were going on there for vacation, it would be a great place to get it done. I think they do it super awesome and it is less expensive than these states. The second con is that your hair is a little bit drier once it's done. It's not super duper dry. You could put conditioner in it and it will help a lot, but it just, you know, in general, it does get a little bit drier. The third con is that you will lose a lot of volume. Um, if you like voluminous hair, once your hair is straightened out, it's gonna be a little bit flat um, and that's just the way it is. The fourth con is the only way to get rid of the chemical straightening treatment is to literally grow it all out and cut it. Once your roots start growing in and the texture is very different from your chemical straightened pieces, uh, it's going to be very awkward and weird until you grow it all out so that your hair can match again. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like when I grew my hair out. It's just going to be a long, awkward stage of growing it out. This brings me to what it's like to grow it out. 
and I think this is probably the most annoying biggest con of it all because if you have um, very different texture hair from straight you will see the difference very very visibly at the roots versus the bottom so you'll have two different types of hair while you're growing it out and it's just very long and awkward and you're going to have to get super creative in finding ways on how to style your hair if you're wondering how long it took for me to get rid of all the straight pieces and grow out all of my hair i think it took me about a little bit longer than two years but it's going to be different for everyone depending on how fast your hair grows if you're in the middle of this awkward phase right now where you have two different types of textures of hair i have a couple hairstyles that might work for you so the first one is the claw clip you know those buns where you just kind of sleek it back and then use a claw clip to clamp it that one worked really well for me. I did a lot of ponytail styles too. Another thing that you can do is if you know your roots haven't grown out a lot yet, you can just go ahead and straighten it. I don't think it it causes that much damage. I mean, you can repair it later. I'm going to show you a video of how I styled it when I was going through the, you know, transitional phase. Um, I'll link the video here somewhere. Oh, and some people have actually asked me like why don't you just get your roots straightened out again if um, you know you don't like the the non-matching textures? I think that is a great question that they asked, and I mean, if you want to do it, I would definitely check with a professional so that they can see your hair, see your scalp, and see if your hair can handle that. But personally, I would never do it because, you know, those chemicals are very harsh. If you continuously get this done on your hair, you don't know what damage it could actually do to your hair. Just like, for example, just like bleaching your hair. If you bleach your hair and you continuously, you know, get it done and re-bleach it, you might see damages like hair thinning, hair breakage, hair loss. Chemical straightening is the exact same thing. But yeah, if you are interested, I would definitely check a professional. The last common question that I usually get is, is it worth it or would I get it again? And um, I think since everyone is so different, what is worth it is going to be kind of up to their own opinion. You gotta weigh the pros and cons. For me, I'm really neutral about it because I enjoyed it while it lasted in my hair, but I did not enjoy growing, you know, <laughs> going through that awkward phase of growing all of my hair out again. Would I get it done again? Um, not anytime in the near future. I feel like I'm like loving my hair right now. Me and my hair have a good relationship. We are chilling and we are feeling super pretty and healthy. But who knows, maybe one day I might want to switch up my look again and straighten my hair for a while. I feel like I would be okay with that because, you know, these past two years I've learned so much. And through this whole journey, I finally know how to take care of my hair, style it, and everything like that. So I'm really not afraid. At the end of the day, hair is hair and it's supposed to be something fun. It's kind of like when you put on an outfit or a makeup look and you want to switch up your hair to match that look that you're going for. Hair is something that's a part of us and our outer appearance, but it doesn't define who we are inside. So just have fun with it. Hair at the end of the day is supposed to be something fun and something that makes us feel confident. I am very happy that I did go through this you know, whole natural journey for the past two years and learning so much about my hair. I freaking love it now, but I don't have anything against straight hair. And maybe one day I do want to switch it up. It's just, it's really, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal to me. So have fun with it. Overall, I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you guys next time.